The second of the semi-finals is Croatia versus uh, England in Russia. FIFA 2018 World Cup. We've seen Belgium versus France. And now tonight, we have the more or less we could say two teams that nobody were, was giving a chance of making to the last four. Croatia has really surprised so many people. Talk about Rakitic, Modric, Rebic, and, and even Subasic. Suba Somebody told me that Subasic comes from Suba. Now, <laughs> <laughs> Jonah, uh, England yes. surprised people by making Indeed. it to the semi finals. And you might say they might even surprise us further by going to the finals. Yes, Croatia um, are not underdogs anymore. So, how do you think this one is going to pan out? For me, the one place where uh, Croatia might win this match is in the midfield. Because remember now they actually have Modric. Modric the is leader himself. The leader himself. And even he's, Rakitic also. He's the Pablo Picasso of the entire uh, mm -hmm. Croatia team because he, he's playing in all sides. Mm -hmm. He's at the center, he's on the wings, he's down delivering the He cross comes team. up with goals. He comes up with goals. He's mm -hmm. the one providing that ball. So they might like, en end up uh, thrashing England, seriously. Uh, for <laughs> England, <laughs> for England, uh, uh, they have one talisman. That's uh, Harry Kane. Harry Kane is uh, Harry Kane is uh, phenomenal. He has, I didn't even I didn't pick him to become top uh, top, goal, scorer, top, top scorer in this. Uh, it se seems like he wants to be top scorer everywhere. England unfortunately have one problem. They don't have a tacti uh, tactical midfield. They don't have someone who can pull the strings. They only have pretty much walls. DMs. They, they just have DMs pretty much. Actually, England came to this World Cup defensive minded two thirds two thirds of the entire world english world uh, world Players. cup squad mm -hmm. are defenders two thirds of the entire team the other third is defense can also make you win it's it's true. they also play with a back three mm -hmm. they also play with a back three which means they actually have to utilize the other the their wing backs to be remember that s england that's from yes. like that's top from jared. english players yeah? jared england surprisingly I've made it to the semi-finals, knocking out likes of you know Sweden in the quarterfinals, and if you look at Croatia, Croatia, I've made it to the quarterfinals after playing in the last 16 up to the you know uh, 120 minutes penalties quarters the same. England haven't faced such a such a scenario. That that does give them an upper hand against the Croats. Okay, first things first. If you look at all the matches that England has played, mm. they haven't come up. Um, come up against um, serious yeah, a serious contender. And another thing which is working for them is um, the way John has said, Subasic is injured, um, Strinic, Strinic is not going to be there, mm. Lovren is not going to be there. So they'll have to actually find some other two players to actually yeah, replace those two. So um, going into this fix, Jackie Dogu, me, I'll, I'll advise um, Croatia to actually just sit back and um, wait for these guys to come because they have actually pacey forwards. Manzukic, Rebic, um, Pepe, Rebic Perisic, and, and, and Kramaric. So yeah. actually just sit back, good. wait for them, hit them on the counter because they play with a back three. That is the thing with back three um, teams. Mm -hmm. If they are attacking you, they actually jam the midfield. So if you get past the midfield, you have an upper hand. Yeah, you have an upper hand. So actually that is the only way Croatia will win this match. Mm -hmm. But the odds are stuck against them. So actually, I'm, I'm in favor of England, <laughs> Kidogo. <laughs> Yoga, England, Kidogo. Yes. Croatia, uh, yes. look at that midfield, Rakitic, Barcelona, yeah. and of course, the creative, uh, midfield. creative midfield. Very creative. Modric bringing the leadership yes. aspect of him, and of course, the, bring the Real Madrid the experience. Yes, in the fact, Champions that League experience. Yeah. So, and they're playing against a younger yeah. English side. Yeah. Can Young win against experience? experience. Uh, it will be tricky for England. Uh, for me, England, though I, I tipped them to, to, to get to the further stage of the, of the tournament for me, but they have not been convincing for me in terms of their wins and in terms of their play. But don't you, don't you think that is a, that's a show of a champion? You, you win like you see, see convincing, but you unashinda too. You unashinda, but with uh, not that of big or, or or like I can say with the uh, contenders that are of substance. Mm -hmm. But to Kiangale on this other side of Croatia, their wins have been well, bigger, more super. Jam, uh, Argentina, that is. They, they beat Argentina They even knocked out the hosts. The convincingly. Host. <laughs> and what actually, actually, I They I, won I convincingly, yeah? <laughs> Your penalty shootout between Croatia and Denmark. Mm -hmm. That was the best, best penalty shootout I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, he expects the magician yeah. racket is coming through. <laughs> Ako tu pale like very composed. Mm-hmm. Pa, uh, so uh, in terms of statistics, these are teams that uh, prior to this our Jai meet in World Cup. So mm-hmm. this will be mm-hmm. the first time they are meeting. So uh, in the last six matches, Ukiangala, the last time they played was almost ten years ago, mm-hmm. to two or nine. And uh, when Lex of Lampard was still playing, they were still playing, and they they were able to beat them four three. The battle in terms of these teams will be fought in the midfield. In the midfield. Yeah, the creative aspects. Mm. There's Anderson there. There's uh, Maguire. Uh, Maguire. There's uh, this boy from Man City. What is his name? Sterling. Sterling. Mm-hmm. Crowd wise, mm-hmm. we know very well Croatia or Little Russia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And now, uh, I, I maybe my thinking is too pedestrian. But do you think? Uh, the Russian crowd now will be sub, will be behind England. England. No, no, I doubt. Uh, I really doubt. Well, these are professional doubt. fans. The relationship, <laughs> the relationship <laughs> between <laughs> Russia and England fact, is on the. In yeah. fact, I think to be honest, if, if they will be, they will be supporting Croatia this, more. If me. the fans are actually extremely rudimental, I actually think whoever touches the ball, you'll just be booing all the time. If England is with the ball, for me, me I think it's Russia, Russia, Russia will Russia support Russia Croatia Russia. more than England. Yeah. yeah. Call for us the game. Russia, I mean, Croatia versus England. <laughs> Nani anenda final? Gumu. I know. But at the end of the 90 minutes or 120, kuna mtu lazima aende final. I don't know. I, I have this distinct feeling that England might just make some really silly mistakes. Uh, at the end of the day, I think Kane might win it for them. For them, okay. So I hmm. give England an extremely narrow win. Extremely narrow. Meaning um, that it's like a last minute do or die thing. So it's either. 2-1 before 90 or it's 2-1 before 120. Jared, experience against young, uh, young people, uh, yeah. young players like, you know, <laughs> John Stones in the, mid, in, the, in the defense and of course they also have Jordan Pickford in goal. Coming against likes of Manzuki, yes. an experienced striker. Goal poacher. In the, in the goal poacher. Can that yeah. help Croatia as you yeah. call the game? Okay, so uh, going into this fixture, there will be goals for me. Uh, I'd, I'd actually say maybe over 2.5, but I wanted, I expected to see Vida and Lovren actually manning the likes of Akina Ken. But now that Lovren is not there, that actually gives England an upper hand. So um, for and me, we pray Subasic yeah. is fit enough. If he's yeah. not fit enough, I, yeah, that's another, another problem. thing. Yeah. So for me, I wanted, I really wanted Croatia to go through. But because of these minor minor injuries and, and the suspensions, I think England stand a better chance of sailing through. This World Cup is kind of tricky. Really Our feelings <laughs> tell us, eh? Hey, but what we what what we all what hey, we know, what, what we know, it's an other <laughs> thing. Yeah, what you ah, yeah. uh, yoga um, on Sunday, who is yeah. in the finals? Who is going to the finals? Mm. Midfield, the Croatia is the one that will win. Will we'll win it for them while mm. they. Striking force here, England is what is going to win for them. So, so if at all Subasic will be on the violent play, mm-hmm. Croatia in the finals. Croatia are going in. All right, let's wait and see the second semi final of the FIFA World Cup 2018 in Russia. It is England versus Croatia. Who do you think is going to make it to the final at the Luzhniki Stadium in Moscow on Sunday night? at 9 p.m. Talk to us on our social media platforms, our Facebook page is Fine Instagram at Fine and of course Twitter at Fine